We move on to the firestorm surrounding the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers accused of making racist remarks caught on tape. The NBA could take action early as tomorrow. ABC's Ryan Smith tells us players and fans are increasing the pressure. Basketball billionaire Donald Sterling is in seclusion tonight as the NBA decides his fate. His reported girlfriend, V. Stiviano, so often seen with him courtside, we talk to you for just a quick second? today dodging swarms of reporters. It's one of their alleged conversations that's at the center of this firestorm, a recording of a racist rant apparently by the Clippers owner. Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. Do you have to? The recording was obtained by TMZ and Deadspin and is believed to have stemmed from this picture showing Stiviano with basketball legend Magic Johnson. She posted it on Instagram. Don't come to my games. Don't bring black people and don't come. Do you know that you have a whole team that's black that plays for you? you just Do I know? I support them and give them food and clothes and cars and houses. All but three players on the Clippers are black, but at the game last night, the whole team united in outrage, turning their jerseys inside out and throwing them on the court. He's got to give up the team. If he doesn't like African Americans and you're in a league that's over 70% African Americans. Ding, 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 ding. V. attorney said the tape is real, but denies that she released it. The president of the Clippers wouldn't confirm the tape's authenticity, but said the racist comments were, quote, the antithesis of who Sterling is, what he believes, and how he has lived his life. The president notes Stiviano is being sued by Sterling's wife, Rochelle, for embezzling millions, including a $1.8 million apartment and luxury cars. Stiviano insists they were gifts. Today, in a conference call with reporters, the Clippers' own coach, Doc Rivers, said he thinks Sterling made the racist comments. Yeah, I believe he said those things. I can't tell you how upset I am, our players are. Sterling has been accused of racism before. He was by the Justice Department for refusing to rent apartments in his real estate developments to minorities. According to one former employee, Sterling said, quote, all of the blacks in this building, they smell, they're not clean, and, quote, we have to get them out of here. Tonight, basketball greats from Michael Jordan to LeBron James, completely outraged and demanding swift action from the NBA. And sponsors already taking swift action. No fewer than 10 have either suspended or severed ties with the organization because of the controversy. But tomorrow is the big day. That's when the NBA makes an announcement about Donald Sterling. Diane? So, Ryan, thanks so much. I want to bring in now Mike Wilbon, NBA analyst for ABC at ESPN and co-host of Pardon the Interruption. Mike, what are they going to announce tomorrow? Diane, I, you know, I'm not as sure about what they ought to announce as what they should announce. I, I suspect there'll be an indefinite suspension. You cannot have Donald Sterling sitting in his usual courtside seat on the floor absorbing all that television attention during an NBA game. The league can't want that, and his television partners cannot want that. But I think there's something beyond that, and they'll do that until they can try to figure out a way to transfer ownership to someone else. Not transfer, to allow them to sell the team. But, Mike, they can't force him to sell. So how does this happen, and what the fine can only be a million maximum? Well, Diane, they can't in terms of policy. But we're talking about a group of billionaire owners, most of those other 29 that will assemble or reach each other by conference call. We're talking about some of the richest and most influential people in the country in other business areas and certainly when they you know put their minds together they can decide if they don't want this person being their partner anymore there was plenty of time for the national basketball association considering the reporting that was done to have reacted and put him on a short leash or have a zero tolerance policy years ago how it got to this point is really pretty mysterious well mike wilbon thank you so much great to have you with us on this story Diane, thanks for having me.